People, today is truly a great day for finally, after waiting for months and months and months, Jack has finally put his cards on the table and told me exactly what he feels about me. Listen to this. This is from the horse's mouth. Yes, I think it is right for the creator of the universe to judge you and your rebellion against him and to allow you to suffer in your own sinfulness as you stand in eternity void of his presence. We can abbreviate that to a straightforward yes. When I asked him that he, whether he thinks it is right and it is just for me to suffer, his answer is in fact yes. It's sad. You know, I feel sorry for Jack that he feels it is necessary to construct for himself a belief system in which it is right for other people to suffer. And it doesn't matter whether it's only me or five billion other people, which in actual fact it is, because they are not Christians. And therefore by definition they live in, what did he call it again? Rebellion against him with a capital H, the creator of the universe. And that is hatred. Expressing the belief that another person should come to harm is my definition of what hatred is. Nothing else comes close to that. No amount of bad language, cursing, swearing, telling people exactly what you think about them comes close to declaring that it is right for a person to suffer. That is true hatred at the most fundamental level. Do I feel compassion for Jack? Of course I do. I cannot imagine what might be wrong in his head in order for him to feel that it is actually right for another person to suffer, let alone suffer eternally. That is truly incomprehensible. But must I therefore kowtow to him? And must I therefore treat him as if he's some sort of a friend of mine? Of course not. In the end, he is somebody who is filled with hatred towards me. I do not need to sit here and suffer that from anybody. So Jack is not my friend. He cannot be my friend until he changes this attitude, until he stops hating people like this. Do I think Jack can rehabilitate himself? Yes, I do. I think it is within Jack's capacity to rehabilitate himself. But listen to that phrase. Rehabilitate himself. It is he who has to do the work. It is he who has to come to the realization that this sort of hatred is morally utterly unjustifiable, even if it originated in God itself, if God actually existed. It would be morally completely unacceptable. Until then, Jack cannot rehabilitate himself. And whilst I do hope sincerely that Jack has a wonderful life, I can only say 
that if it is a life that revolves around hating me in this way, then I hope he conducts his life as far away from me as physically possible and out of my sight. Good luck to you, Jack. It was nice knowing you. Well, it wasn't actually.